Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve these two given rational equations. And by the way these equations are called rational because we are simply dealing with these fractions. As you can see these are just the fractions. So let's get started with the very first equation. So always whenever you have a two fractions and you have a this kind of scenario always do like this thing. I want you to move drag this equation on the right hand side. So this simply becomes 3 over x plus 9 equals to when you move this negative sign and the other becomes simply 2 over x plus 5. Now as you can see we have a one fraction on the left hand side and the other fraction on the right and an equal sign in between. So this kind of uh, scenario is called proportion. So these are called proportion that means they have an equal sign in between these two fractions. So we are going to solve this given equation by using a cross multiplication. That means we're going to crisscross. Multiply this way and multiply this way. So let's go ahead and multiply this 3 times x plus y and write it down over here. I'm going to write down 3 times x plus 5 equals to on the other way around multiply this 2 times x plus 9 so I can write 2 times x plus 9 so far so good so let's go ahead and distribute over here I'm gonna multiply this 3 with both of them so this simply become 3x plus 3 times 5 is 15 equals to likewise we're going to multiply or distribute so this is going to become 2x plus 18. So I want you to subtract 2x from both sides as you can see so this 2x and 2x is gone 2x minus 3x minus 2x is going to be simply 1x plus 15 equals to 18 and I want you to subtract 15 from both sides so x turns out to be simply 3 which is our solution. So thus our solution set turns out to be simply x equal to 3 and that is our answer. Now we are going to solve this another rational equation. Once again, the very first step is I want you to, let's do the simple way. I want you to look at this fraction, positive 9 over 4. I want you to move it on the right hand side. So this is simply, uh, is going to become x 10 minus x divided by x equals to, when you move this positive 9 over 4 on the other side become negative 9 over 4 as you can see. And once again this equation is just simply a proportion as you can see since we have a two ratios or two fractions and equal sign in between them. So we are going to solve them by using this cross multiplication method. So let's go ahead and cross multiply this way. If we're going to cross multiply this way and we're going to cross multiply this way. So if we cross multiply this way we're going to be multiplying this 4 times 10 minus x. So let's go ahead and put it down 4 times 10 minus x equals to let's multiply the other way around negative 9 times x becomes simply negative 9x. So I'm going to write down negative 9x. So the next step is I want you to distribute right up here. So when you multiply this become 10 times 4 is 40 minus 
four x equal to simply negative nine x so what we are going to do is over here i want you to just simply add four x on both sides since we wanna isolate x so this is gone so we simply got 40 equals to negative 5x i want you to divide by negative 5 from both sides so this negative 5 negative 5 is gone so x turns out to simply equal to negative 8 and that is our solution so thus our solution set turns out to be simply x equal to negative 4 and that is our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos